Hey guys, I'm here from dartsreviews.tv in association with Darts Planet TV and today I'm going to be reviewing for you, got it out in the end, reviewing, uh, reviewing for you something a little different. Um, it is a new little thing come out by Target, it is the Target Arc. So, pretty heavy, big strong arms, lift that up. Uh, basically what we've got here is a light, a cabinet and a board. It's all in one, it's all ready to go. Well, it isn't ready to go. Uh, because I ain't the best at DIY. So I'm going to hand this over to Gav, get him to put it up on the wall for me, so he'll come in in a minute and do that, and then when he's done that, I'll have a little chuck at it and see what I think. So, like most things with an arc, let's follow two by two and see how we get on. Okay guys, so Adam is going to be reviewing this, but he's not the most DIY minded. Uh, sorry Adam, no he is, he's okay at it. But what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to be unboxing this now, I'm going to be getting it up on the wall, so as soon as Adam arrives, it will all be ready for him, just to review and do what he likes doing best, throwing darts, not DIY. So, let's have a look what's in the box, and we'll get cracking. really easy to do. Let's get this in place. Shortly, but I'm just going 23.2 each side of this center point so that this can hook onto this. This is wood, so I don't need wall plugs, so it's going to make it all a little bit easier. But let's get it on the wall. Check it out. Okay, so you see how easy that was. This literally screwed into there. This then slides into there. This is ready. What you'll see is there's adapters for every single country as well uh, to make it really easy. Obviously, we're in the UK, uh, so that's just going to slide in. Out of that section there. As you can see, I've already unplugged this. Obviously, got a UK uh, socket to put that in. This literally plugs in here. You can really tidy it up. You can come in there, uh, stick it in this little slot down here, like so, tuck it underneath, and then actually uh, down there. So it's going to look really nice. So we're now going to put it up on the wall. I am actually now going to get four extra screws because, like I said, it is into wood. So I'm going to make sure that this is really secure uh, before I put the net actual dartboard in. Happy days, let's get the board on the wall. Okay, so I've got the hammer, we're now gonna hammer these bits in here, really easy to do, the little spacer bits. Go in there like so. That's 
them all in. That just keeps the space nice on the dartboard. Okay, so the final bit now. Just screw this in here, ready for the bracket in the board. This is really hard to do sometimes to get a start, so uh, just persevere with it. Let's have a look. Hey guys, we're now gonna set the target board on. Everything is matched up to perfect. The screw is in there. That is in there dead level. Looking really, really, really good. Not wobbling too much. Now's the moment of truth. Let's switch this light on and see if it all works and look at that. So what I'm gonna quickly do, Adam doesn't know this because he thinks he's coming to do the review and he'll think he's the first person uh, to throw a dart. So I'm just gonna grab three darts here. I'm just gonna grab the first three that I come to. Uh, let's just have a look, see how I get on. First three darts, out of practice here, but I just really wanna be, just going for the bullseye, way off. But I had the first three darts. Adam will think it'll be him in the video. I'm gonna close it up. You could see how easy it was to put together. Uh, really didn't take me any more than about 10, 15 minutes from unboxing it, to putting all the screws in, to marking it. Really, really simple. I'm gonna let Adam do the review. That's his job. I'm just a donkey here, putting it all together for him. Uh, as I said, he's not very good at DIY. So, thank you guys. You can see, Gav's done a little job for me. He's put the board up for me. So I'm gonna have a quick little chuck on it. We'll see how we get on, see what we think to it. A quick nine or 12, as I say. So, we'll have some throws. Here we go. Bounce out of the 180 first throw. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? But they are quite big wires on that, so you'll find um, with the bigger wires, you will get Bounce out. And we should be done. Oh, drop the adapter. One of the adapters just fell off there. You've got the adapters for um, each country. So there's work everywhere. Just put it in there so it's falling off. Right. It's not, it's not the brightest light, but there doesn't seem to be any shadows because it's not necessarily the light that's the problem, it's the shadow that you get sometimes off the darts, but this one isn't too bad. Just one more handful on this. Oh, good five. Another bounce out. But one more, because we can't finish on another bounce out, can we? But as I was saying, it's the thing with the sort of wider wires, but back in the day, this would have been sort of normal. So it kind of makes you appreciate how good they were. Right, 66, we're gonna have a summary. Right then guys, so a quick summary on the board and this whole setup in general. Retail to 85 quid, I think this is gonna be 84.95. So when you bear in mind, you've got a nice little cabinet, you've got the arc light. I think you can buy these separately for around about 30 quid, 35 quid. Um, like I say, you've got your chalkboards, you've got your nice little cabinet that you can shut away, um, keep it well out of the way, because not everyone can fit one of the big rings with your space. The board-wise, it is just a Target World Champions board that you get with it. So it's a good beginner's board. It's one of those boards, if someone's just thinking about starting up playing darts, you know, it's okay, it does a job. But maybe when you've worn this out, I'd be looking at sticking one of the more professional standard boards in there, because as you can see, the wires are quite thick. We did have a couple of bounce outs. It took a bit of a bashing and denting. Um, you've got the staples in there. You've got the staples around there as well. So they are quite big chunky wires, but that's what everyone used to play with back in the day. The light itself, um, when I first switched it on, I thought to myself, oh, it's not that bright, there'll be some shadows. There was no shadows, I guarantee that. Not a single shadow on the board. It isn't as bright as the Coronas, but it is just a strip of LED lights at the top. It doesn't go all the way around, so it obviously isn't gonna be quite as bright. But, light-wise, it's not too bad. I'll flick the light switch off out here, so it'll give you a slightly better idea of it. And it is, it's got a nice enough glow. It's bright enough. Um, it's okay. Like I say, for me, personally, um, if you had some youngsters that were getting into darts, you weren't a big fan of the old big dartboard on the wall with the big light system. One of these, nice, clean, tidy. You can shut it all away, hide it up. It's 
find. 85 quid, not too bad. Nice little Christmas present or birthday present. Get yourself a couple of brassy darts free with it. Some chalk. Leave yourself, leave your mates some notes, some cheeky notes. Um, it's got a few adapters as well. Got four different adapters for all the different countries as well. So it's ready to go. So if you're buying this here or abroad, it's ready to go. Um, I think it's all right. If you've got one, guys, or you've got one on order, please, please, please leave your reviews at www.dartsreviews.tv. Turn your notifications on, subscribe to the channel, and leave a little like at the bottom there, because it's nice to be nice. See you again soon. Cheers, bye. Right then, so that's it, guys. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this review and it's helped you in some way. Make sure you download the Darts Reviews TV app, which is available now for free on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Oh, and before you go, have you missed this review?